everyone! In this video series, we will explain what it means to be a dispatcher and where to start if you are only a beginner. It also does not matter what education you have, how old you are, where you come from and where you are located. Basically, anyone can become a dispatcher. The only thing needed is this desire to learn to think critically. If you can see that you have those two qualities, let's start. In the video series, you will learn about this industry and more specifically trucking itself. Let me introduce you to today's plan, which we are going to follow. We'll find out about the key players in the industry. Who is a shipper? Who is a broker? Who is a carrier? Who is a dispatcher? Who is a factory company? And who is in the supply chain? Having learned about the key elements in the trucking industry, you will be able to eliminate up to 80% of the challenges that you may face as a dispatcher. The main idea here is to understand how all these groups of people cooperate. Probably you will agree with us that every job, every profession can be compared to a game. We learn the rules, we build the strategies, and then win or lose. Treating the truck industry as a game, you need to find out the rules, the responsibilities of every single player if you want to be it. Our goal is to give you all the necessary information so that you can play confidently and we will tell you what strategies to use for a successful play. First of all, let's focus on the shipper. The shipper is a bit of a confusing term because it usually depends on the case who is exactly doing the shipping. The shipper is the one who makes and sends the goods. We can refer both manufacturer and the supplier to the shipper. Again, it depends on the case. For example, if the supplier sends a raw material to the manufacturer, then the supplier is a shipper. But in the case when the manufacturer sends goods to a distributor, then the manufacturer is the shipper. As you can see, it depends on who actually sends the goods. The next term I would like to discuss with you is a freight broker. Who is he? The broker is the person between the shipper, manufacturer or supplier, and the trucking company, carrier, owner, operator. Brokers connect the shippers and the truck company. Their aim is to post all the available loads that they get from the shippers on the land boards. No worries, brokers have thousands of shippers in their database, and they always look for more and more shippers. Shippers assign the loads to the broker and then it's broker's turn to post a load to the load board. And carriers have access to load boards, so they need to set up an agreement with the broker and they are ready to pick up the load. Carrier is a company that transport goods. Let us tell you the difference between the carrier and the owner-operator. Carrier is a whole company that consists of the drivers, trucks, and dispatchers. So it's a whole team consisting of a number of workers. And the owner-operator is a driver that drives his truck himself. He is the one who is looking for the loads. Dispatcher. There are various terms that can identify a dispatcher. It can be fleet dispatcher, freight dispatcher, freight manager, fleet manager, logistic manager, or tracking manager. So as you can see, a dispatcher is a person who manages the freight. Dispatcher uses law boards most of his time. Looking for available lots, he calls brokers, discuss the loads and the rate. Dispatcher is the person responsible for setting up the documentation with the broker. Factoring Third party financial company responsible for sending cash quickly. When the carrier meets quick cash flow, the factoring company can send the money the next day. So a carrier now has all means to transport the goods. They have enough money to cover such expenses as insurance, insurance liability, cargo insurance, driver's pay, payroll, etc. 
He doesn't know and he doesn't need to wait 30 days to receive his money. Usually factoring takes one and a half percent. Supply chain. The sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of commodities. The supply chain usually looks like this. Raw material, supplier, manufacturers, distributor, retailer, consumer. In the picture, you can see the example of the supply chain. As you can see, logistics is in high demand.